This week on Outdoor Junkies, we're heading over to Hangsters Motorsports, looking for morales, and going to shoot sporting plays at Gary Farms. Junkie style. This is awesome, awesome. Jacker all boys. What a beautiful fish. Look at this thing. Oh yeah! Junkie style, baby. That is sweet. <laughs> okay, so here today we're with Hank here at Hanksters Motorsports here just south of Janesville, a couple miles on 51. Yep, just two miles south of the airport. And what we do is we have a family member's uh, four-wheeler, doesn't run, and even though it's a Honda, Hank, I mean, do you service anything? Absolutely, we service all makes and models of everything power sports. As everybody knows from watching the show, we do a lot of work on ATVs, UTVs, uh, a lot of off-road vehicles. Any make and model, any brand, we got you covered. We got four full-time technicians in the shop that'll uh, take care of your machine like it was their own. So then on the service too, it says that you go free pickup, right? On any service? Not only is it free pickup on service, but we'll run anywhere to, you know, usually we're going to Whitewater, Evansville, Edgerton, Broadhead. We got a guy running around twice a week, usually Tuesdays and Thursdays. So, wow. I mean, we're, we're running all over the place. Okay, so. that's, that's good to know, because sometimes yeah. people, I mean, have an ATV, you typically have a trailer, but let's say your buddy's using it, Hank will come get it for you. Absolutely, you know, and it's not even so much if you don't have the trailer, but it's just a convenience factor. I mean, we'll come pick it up and leave it outside, put it behind your house, and it happens literally every week that way. So now that it's the spring season, so the big push is what, uh, motorcycles? Yup. Probably UTVs. Yup, so motorcycles are really hot right now. However, off-road has been extremely strong this month. I mean, the season's just starting for family trail riding. A lot of folks are, you know, sprucing up the yard, doing yard work. But uh, yeah, we, we have a, a large selection of everything here, whether it's ATVs, UTVs, uh, motorcycles. We literally have over 100 plus vehicles in stock at all times between four-wheelers, uh, motorcycles and we probably have almost a hundred motorcycles in stock right now. Uh, something that we're really known, well known for is our buy one get one free tire specials. So um, and that's on any make and model of motorcycle from a Yamaha to a Harley Davidson. Uh, we service and fix them all and uh, we started the uh, buy one get one free tire thing uh, years ago and it's been a huge huge hit for us. We have folks driving from uh, Milwaukee to North Madison to bring their motorcycles here and uh, we'll, we'll work on your bike while you wait and uh, we'd love to have your business. All right, so Hank, where are you guys located? So we're just two miles south of the airport, right on Highway 51 between Janesville and Beloit. We're easy to find. You can't miss us. You can find us at hankstersmotorsports.com or give us a call 608-289-0320. Once again, thanks, Hank. Thank you guys for your business. We appreciate it. Outdoor Junkies is brought to you by I-90 Enterprises, Hangsters Motorsports, Custom Jigs and Spins, Grandpa Ray Outdoors, Clark's Resorts and Outposts, Greater Mostyn, and these fine sponsors. This has been a Stone Lake production. All right, folks, now we're going to go check through the woods for some mushrooms. Jer, what do you normally look for? So, Bri really hasn't done this much, really. Mm -hmm. um, so, what we're going to do is show him what tree to look for, what the bark looks like, and how far gone it is. Then how to just sit back and kind of don't walk tromp all over right away, because you'll step on them and smash them. Um, so, what we'll do is we'll give you some pointers here, and uh, let's give her the whirl. All right, cool. We have our first tree, you can't see the bark very good from right here, but you can tell how it's dead. And that's an elm, right? Yep. Um, we'll go over and check this tree here. We'll kind of sit back for a little bit and we'll kind of scan the, the forest okay. ground. Oh yeah, room. right in the light. Yeah. That, wow. That one right there. He's that's a, a nice one. Yeah, he's a decent yellow. Some people will cut them. I just always kind of just nip them at the base 
you don't want to pluck them out with the dirty roots because if you put it in your bag with uh, dirt on it, it gets all your all your mushrooms gritty. There's one. <laughs> <laughs> it is a big one. My first mushroom. That's quite the hog. Oh, we got another tree. There's right one. Right there. <laughs> we found it at the same time. Oh, there's one. There's a mushroom there. Coming out sideways, half cocked. <laughs> <laughs> and this tree here. This one looked like it was kicked it, It's off. almost, it's almost uh, too far gone, but she did produce some mushrooms, so. Yep. <laughs> nice. This is fun. One thing about this mushroom hunting too, like Bry's kids are getting to be a perfect age, you know, 10-ish or whatever to go. What you can do is pre-scout, find some trees, you know, they have some under, and then walk around with the kids through the woods right now, and uh, just point them out, you know, there's a tree to look around. And find some mushrooms, they might find a shed or two, and also you get to look for where all the deer trails are. That's right. So you plan out your fall. So, well, let's continue on. Bry's already got quite a few in his bag. Yeah, it's getting a little heavy. So I think I'll switch with a cameraman and I'll camera for a little bit and you can mushroom hunt. Seems to be the <laughs> hound dog anyways. <laughs> oh, there's another big one. Too big yellow. Oh yeah, that one's huge. That was a monster there. We had nice. to switch. These guys weren't spotting them. <laughs> <laughs> another one over here. Yeah, this one's a beast. They do get bigger. But that's a good eater right there. That's a good one. Oh yeah, there's one. Found one? Yeah, hey, see him over there? Oh. Looks like a round one. Yeah, he's a, he's a little chubby one. Oh, here's one. That's why you gotta be careful too when you're walking around. See, I just walked right through here. Sometimes you can't see them from the brush or the green on the gr on the ground, but you turn around and look the other way and they pop out. It's like they just show up. You got two, three trees right here, right in one area. That's almost a given dynamite spot for them. You got all them spores in the ground. They got perfect sunlight, but for whatever reason, those morales love it when you get a cluster of dead elms. You kind of like this, brought down your Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> It's fun getting around and just doing something else, something different. All right, no need to come over here. I, I, I might be going to the bathroom. There, there's no mushrooms over here at all. That's a nice one there. Yeah, it is. That's a nice morale right there. Perfect eater size. We just found the mother load. Yes, we did. Look at it. They're really? I mean, oh, I mean, those, are, those are nice, nice ones. Wow. That's a good one. Look at them all oh, over in front of you. Now, oh, it doesn't matter if they're getting kind of discolored at all? We'll cut that off. Okay. Here, grab that big one. You've seen it. We've, we've found some bigger than beer cans before in here. Hey, look at them, they're just laying everywhere. This is the motor tree right here. They want to GPS this spot. This tree is producing. I agree. Here's one here, Bri. Right there. Oh, yeah. Look them up, too far gone. Yeah, there's a nice one under that tree right there. Two of them. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah, you gotta walk right past those. Oh, a good tree. Freaking got like two dozen in here now. There's a huge one. Oh, yeah. Look at that long here. Kind of like me. Short and thick. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you call the cluster. Wow. Come and look at it. Look at that one. There's like a dozen right there. Oh, wow. Cool. We're definitely so cool. filling these bags up. There's one in front of the log right here. And then there's one over there. A little cluster. Oh. I have a stick in my nose. 
<laughs> Look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> you picking them out and sending them in the brush? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you want to get that one? <laughs> get in there, dog. Where is it? Right here by the stick. Right at the end of that stick right here. Right in front of you. Right here, you see that broken stick? In front of you. Straight in front of you. Right here? Forward. See this stick right here? Yeah. Right at the end of it. Oh yeah, I see it. <laughs> I can't see <laughs> this little guy. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder. Jeez, look at a big old hog. I couldn't. <laughs> we spoiled them already. There's one there. The big one here. Look at this big old gray. Oh yeah. Get that one there. So what do you got here, Bob? All right, this is what I'm pretty sure this is, is, is what they call a false morale. And they, it, it looks similar to a morale mushroom, but it's not. And I don't, you don't want to eat those because you will get sick. So just a heads up there. Oh yeah, that's good to know. I probably would have picked that. <laughs> Ooh, not a bad day's work. That's a good day's run right there. Wow. And you got a bird to show for it. Yep, it's been a great morning. Sweet. Well, we're gonna get these all cleaned up, soaking in some salt water and get yep. the bugs and everything out of them. You gotta, I soak them for at least overnight anyway and get the bugs floating and, and then you just rinse them clean. Okay. So. More action coming at you live here on Junkies. Stay tuned. This segment is brought to you by Hangsters Motorsports. Hangsters Motorsports is now the fastest growing Yamaha dealer in the state of Wisconsin. For more information, go to HangstersMotorsports.com. We are heading over to Gehrig Farms for the second annual I-90 Enterprises Sporting Clays Customer Appreciation Event. We met up with Sue and got registered for the course. All right, here we're here at Garrick's Sporting Clays for uh, I-90 Enterprises, right? Yep, that's correct. So we're going to shoot some sporting clays today. I'm going to school these guys today just to let you know. We'll see what happens. The thing is, we're going to let them win because otherwise he cries. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, let's shoot some clays. Oh. Alright, pull! Since, uh, right. There you go. Grab it! Pull! Mm -hmm. Got that one. There you go. It's always fun to get out and shoot clays with family and friends. It's like golf with a shotgun because it has multiple courses and stations laid out all over natural terrain. All right, junkies, time for a little clay pot pie. Got it. Nope. He hit the first one. Yep. Woo. Yep, pull. Nice, you got that one. I got one. I'm glad I didn't need that. Gosh. Oh! You still have There you go. Ready? Sure. Pull. <laughs> oh, the sleeper. There you go. <laughs> Good job, Bob. That's right, chunky style, baby. <laughs> I'm good. All right. Job, I'm three for three today. <laughs> Killed a bird and just got two sporting clays. I think I'm done shooting. That's perfect. <laughs> perfect day. Got that. Got it? Yep, go ahead. Oh. Look at old gun smoke over here. <laughs> You're getting down with that pump now, aren't you? Ready, Chachi? Got it. Oh. Nice, nice round. Double, finally. Nice. Blair had to get it warmed up. All right, that's it. What the schooling gonna this start? This is all bad. <laughs> that's what I get for opening my mouth. That's like, well, just get one and then the last one just, yeah. 
Oh, fun. It's a good time out here at Gehrig's. I'm all right, bird. Ready? Hey, pull. Oh, nice bird. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, on to the next one. All right. One, two. Sharp shooter. Uh, I'm gonna try, uh... Yeah, this is fun. Oh. Nothing? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh! Did he get the first one? Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Unlike trap and skeet, which are games of repeatability target presentations, Sporting Clay simulates the unpredictability of live quarry shooting offering a great variety of trajectories, angles, speeds, elevations, distances, and target sizes. This segment is brought to you by I-90 Enterprises, your benchmark for excellence. I did. Pull. Got a piece of it. You stalled just a little too much on that last one. Yeah. Right over. I was really confident on that first one. I'm like, yes. Oh. There you go. All right. Nice shooting, Tech. Woo! Wait. Come on, honey. Let's go get Nathan Jr. <laughs> Oh. There you go. Hey, you supposed to put that one in the tube. <laughs> Got one. Oh, your stickers falling off, Bob. No. Don't want to forget who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Ball. I just put the gun there. Got him. Shoot. Shoot him on the All right, pull. Do you see that? Does that matter? That's hard. I hit the first one. Did you see it blow up when it hit yeah, the ground? Yeah, it hit the ground. Yeah. <laughs> it exploded. You nailed it. You pounded it. That was ground pound. Pull. That is hard. The second one takes it. Right. Right. It, it does so much float. Yeah. We'll get them, Birdie. We'll see if the old Ducks Unlimited takes out the duck coins. <laughs> Pull. Yeah. Hi. Uh, that stuff doesn't. It's good, but it doesn't. There, I got to. Ends with a bang, <laughs> holler. Yep. Pull. Yeah. Yeah. One. Yeah. That's it, boys. <laughs> All right. All right. Are you watching? He's putting extra tallies by his name. <laughs> yeah. Check. God, right, quick! Just mess me up. Gehrig Sporting Clay's course is located on the banks of the Rock River, just off Highway 14 between Janesville and Evansville. 
The course stretches across 100 rolling acres of woods and meadows and features 10 to 12 different stations that are reset regularly. To have your next outing or fundraiser at Gehrig's Sporting Clays course, contact Gehrig's at www.gehrig'sclays.com or give them a call at 608-436-6277. We'd like to give a special thanks to everyone at I-90 Enterprises for the invite, food, hospitality, and support they have given our show. Thanks for watching Outdoor Junkies. Jesus. Miss the easy one. Yeah! <laughs> Hold on. That shell's They're messed up. <laughs>